Hello YouTube. And uh, I suppose I deserve to look uh, this bad skinned on my webcam today, but um, for some reason I am. So uh, just bringing you a small video on John Searle. John Searle has been making many claims over the years to have created flying discs. Um, some of his discs have been uh, apparently, so we are told, um, sent across the UK by uh, radio amateurs um, controlling them and these flying discs have been uh, registered on radar and with this, the Civil Aviation Authority and um, I'm like okay right okay um, I'm detecting a little bit of bullshit here but um, let, let's let's see where this goes uh, the um, the thing is, nobody has shown us any footage of Mr. Searle with a disc being powered up, flying into the air, and oh, just have to do a bit of snuff because it mm, braces you up for the uh, the reality of this. Um, if there is no video footage of. Uh, said discs and no cine footage this is very peculiar because I mean every aircraft that's ever flown they've tried to uh, photograph and film this and I think you can pretty much guarantee that if this was a real thing that it wouldn't just be snapshot photographs or on, the st on a piece of string you know flying saucers behind a head yeah, like that, type photographs that you would be coming up with, you would have had cine footage. Now, there's no excuses for this because we know that people around Mr. Searle had cine cameras because they were able to photograph and uh, and make cine film of them making a wooden saucer-shaped object which probably never left the ground um, but strangely enough lots of photos of things on the ground lots of things on the ground with people around them never any cine footage of a device being powered up and lifting off the ground now if we take everything that Mr uh, Mr. Searle says to one side and we say okay um, where exactly is your um, original source of stuff then uh, it was so easy to create uh, it doesn't require all this new seg stuff that we're talking about we're, we're, we're back to the old school stuff yeah if we if we create one of those old school sources right now yeah will it fly um apparently that that's that's not been done you know and, and even in this age of video and youtube and webcasts and you know they can't seem to put a very small <laughs> device together and actually film it and um put this on the net and change science and the world as we know it. So, I have to say, and it's with some, I'm a little bit of trepidation because I don't like being a bastard. Um, I don't like being a bastard really, but um, with a bit of trepidation, that uh, really what you're dealing with, with Mr. Searle, is the Emperor's, Emperor's new clothes. Uh, it ain't there, but everybody has to pretend and imagine they've seen it. Yeah, I watched this video. I watched this video, which is supposed to be, um, you know, the, the de facto, de facto video talking about the Searle effect and and all this sort of stuff. And I watched all the interviews that were taking place. In the video, were from people who are connected with John Searle and 
interested in his technology, i.e. people who are not very scientific and don't know much <laughs> and haven't haven't seen these things, yeah? I mean, and those people in the video who say, yes, and then they built the saucer and the saucer took off, yeah? They're talking about other people's experiences. They're not talking about stuff they saw with their own eyes, yeah? They, they, there's absolutely nothing in the John Searle story video that tells me that um, these people saw this stuff with their own eyes, yeah? The only person... Who's, who's seen this stuff um, is John Searle. The rest of the world hangs on John Searle's words. And I'm afraid I'm going to have to chalk Mr. Searle up to being a bit of a cultist, it seems, um, because of the way that he operates in trying to get money and people to believe in his ideas without actually giving the final uh, proof. Um, now this is, this is okay, take the SEG stuff away because this SEG stuff is, is very deceptive in, in uh, many ways. I'm talking about the early days, yeah? The SEG stuff, yeah, is deceptive because now you've got a device, yeah, which has not been tested um, and this device, which has not been tested and is not understood, um, is like a is like a mad, is a flim flam device, which can basically make people think that they're looking at something fantastic when they're actually looking at something that's quite explainable. Yeah, um, a little bit like uh, when a friend showed me this uh, magnet thing. You spin a little magnet and uh, it levitates, you know, and it levitates. It's not superconductivity, it's just a magnet. You spin the magnet. And uh, some people some people were actually trying to sell this stuff, uh, anti-gravity technology, and it's just magnetism. It's just magnetism. It's... It, it... Oh, it's quite sad to see people doing this stuff. And I'm sure... John Searle has the best of intentions in wishing the world uh, having, you know, clean power and energy. But I'm very suspicious of his background. I'm very suspicious of <laughs> his stories. And I'm very suspicious of the fact that if you had a number of flying discs that could take off and fly around, that you wouldn't have had people on hand with cine cameras whilst your radio hams were all there around the country ready to receive and do all this you know vectoring work with your UFO that you'd have had the world's press and your own cine camera there to film the fucking footage Boo! bloody hell it's that basic. It's that fucking basic. I mean, I'd, I'd love to believe John So. I'd love to believe him. He looks like a nice guy, you know. He's supposed to be deaf. Um, I think there's more to it than that. Uh, I think there's, I think, I think there's, there's more to this story than meets the eye. So, um, I'm very sorry. If I'm wrong, I'm really very sorry, but I don't think I'm wrong on this. <laughs> John Searle, if you're right, I really hope you, you, you do get your technology working, but... Um, I just think it's yanking people's chains for a couple of quid and a bit of attention, personally seen it before, seen it many times, and it's wiffle waffle and there's nothing there. Or if there is, then Mr. Searle, go and make one of your original early um, original discs. Go and make one and um, fly it. Uh, I'll, I'll bring a video camera out. I will. I will. I'll bring, I'll bring news teams out. And if you can fly it, great. <laughs>